Number 23, a boy's force skateboarding down a slant can be represented by the following diagram. Where we have a normal force, a force of friction, and a force of gravity. What is component form of the resultant force? Well, first off, uh, just as a reminder, component form it could also be called a rectangular form. So they could say rectangular form here. And all that simply means is we're looking for the x and y values. So when I look over here, I'm given a bunch of different values, but it's not labeled anyway. I'm going to go ahead and label this. 15 is a y value because it's going up. See this arrow is going upwards and to the left. Now this is an x value. Now be careful here though, because this 18 is going left, this arrow is going 18 units to the left, that would actually be a negative 18 for x since it's left. This x is a positive 5 because it's going to the right, and this y is a positive 6 because it's going up 6 newtons worth of force. Now we come down here, and we have 100 going down. This is gravity. This is another y value, and since it's going down, it would be negative. The arrow is pointing down. Now we could write these out. This first normal force would be the vector. Uh, you could use these symbols, or as I normally do since the calculator does, I'm going to use these. The normal force is negative 18 comma 15. That's the normal force. Now the friction. What we'll do to that is we will add it. These will combine together. And so your x is 5 and your y is 6. And then we come and we now add gravity. And gravity does not go left or right at all, so it's a 0 but it does go down 100. This here is our gravity. Now we add these together, we get the combined, the resultant force. That's what the resultant means, combined, there. The resultant here, this word means combined. And so when we combine these together, you just go x's with x and y's with y. So negative 18 plus 5 is negative 13. We combine these together. We have negative 18 and, negative, and positive 5, that's negative 13, and then 0 that stays, so x equals negative 13. And for the y values, we have a positive 15, uh, 6, that's 21, and then we subtract 100. And so y would equal negative 79, if I'm doing my math correct. And so that's what we look for here, uh, negative 13, negative 79, this is the answer is D. That would be the correct choice here. Now let's check in the calculator. How would I do it over here? Well, I want to go choose a calculator, open that up. Now pull up my brackets, which is control parenthesis. That gives me the brackets. And I'm going to type in my values. Negative 18, comma, whoops, let's backspace this. And this is the negative here. Negative, there it is. It's negative 18, comma, 15. And then we go outside and we add. So we're now going to do another bracket, 5, comma, 6. And then one more bracket, 0, comma, negative 100. Let's check if we did our math correct. We press enter, and yes, negative 13, comma, negative 79 would be the answer. If you happen to need to know the magnitude or direction, what you would then do is convert it to polar. If I go menu 7 for matrix and vectors, C down here, all the way at the bottom for vector, and then choose 4, convert to polar. I can find out that it has a magnitude of 80 newtons, the resultant force, at a direction of negative 100, negative 99 degrees. Which you mean from the origin you would go down and around negative 99 degrees this way, negative means going down. So the actual boy would fall down to slide this direction.